I thought it was an interesting conversation we were having a little bit earlier in regards to what you're seeing out there. And, you know, Melissa, you guys got to understand, Melissa is at pretty much, she's there during the transaction, but mainly she sees it at the end, right? She sees it at the closing, right? And, you know, and she's constantly working with buyer's agents and listing agents. And, you know, Melissa, I want to hear your take on what you feel listing agents are saying about this highly competitive market and how buyers and buyer's agents can write a very competitive offer. Like what, what are you seeing out there? What are they saying? What are they telling you? So we are seeing it being absolutely nuts right now. You know, of course the rates are extremely low. So that's really motivating a lot of buyers. And we knew this was going to be a busy time anyway, with so many millennials entering the market, but we also have a very low inventory as a function of COVID, right? There's still a lot of people who are not bringing their, um, buyers into their homes. So we are seeing so much competition and I am hearing so much blowback from listing agents, primarily about pre-approvals. The idea that buyers are coming in with a pre-approval from a company that they've never heard of, or that's not been properly underwritten, that they're basically discounting those offers right off the jump, because mm. how do we know that these buyers are going to be able to you know, kind of toe the line and get over the finish line. And one other strategy that as a buyer's agent, you can implement is not requiring certain contingencies that we usually would include, such as an appraisal. Now yep. we know that in that particular buyer situation, they need an appraisal pursuant to the financing. That's a requirement unless uh, they're cash. So yeah. anytime you have financing, a lot of times you see that special language in there subject to the property appraising at or above the sales price and approved by the lender. What I would suggest that as a buyer's agent, you may want to have the conversation with the buyer that will remove that competitive, that um, contingency because it will make your offer more competitive without it. However, we need to make sure that the appraisal is complete within the confines of the mortgage contingency timeline. So maybe we build out the contingency deadline a little bit longer than we would normally to allow the time frame for the appraisal to be completed. That's assuming you're not having a super quick closing. You know, in a 30, 45 day, you should definitely be able to have time to get that done. I was actually at an appointment this morning with a proposed seller looking at five different offers and it's just a bunch of paper. It's just a bunch of words. So one thing that we've been seeing for quite some time is buyers trying to differentiate themselves when they're putting in an offer. You really cannot um, discount the handwritten letter, um, trying to find some commonality with the seller so that they want to pick you because they like you. Maybe your offer isn't the best one because highest and best, as we know, doesn't have to be the highest or the best. It could be the most contingencies and the least amount of money. But if the homeowner is, their heartstrings are impacted as a result of the letter you give them, then you may be the winning bid just the same. I don't know if that's happening, you know, nine times out of nine or 10 times out of 10, but it's an option. Yeah, it all depends on the sellers and how sentimental they are with the home. You know, I'm with you 100%, you know, but we, we make, when we have our clients, our buyers do it, um, we make sure that the letters are genuine and, uh, and people want to know who's moving into their home that they love. You know, people are, we're attached to our homes. You know, it's, it's, it's such a big thing, such a big deal.